So Stefan asks a, a, a fountainhead question. Let's just take this quickly, and then we'll get to Keaton. Keaton, would you say that Dominique, before she met Rourke, was destroying evil for the sake of destruction? No, because she wasn't destroying evil. She was actually destroying the good. And she wasn't destroying the good for the sake of destroying it. She was destroying the good out of a sense of, if you will, justice. She was horrified by the idea that bad people would be exposed, would, would get any pleasure or joy or any satisfaction from the good. She wanted to destroy Rourke because she was convinced he would be destroyed and she didn't want to give the, the, the twoies of the world that a satisfaction of doing it. She didn't want to give Tui the power that would come from destroying Rourke. So she was going to destroy him, not in the name of destruction, not in the name of evil, but in the name of Rourke's virtues, in the name of Rourke's independence, in the name of Rourke's greatness. And, and that's, <laughs> that's a complicated character. <laughs> That is a very, very complicated character. But think about the passion that's involved in loving your values so much that the very thought that somebody bad, an evil human being, would get, be exposed to them. You, you know, upsets you greatly. So that you want to make sure that they never see, that they never get exposed to them. And it takes uh, a while, the entire book almost, to see that she is wrong. Wrong in the sense that she's too focused on the negative. Too focused on the negative and not focused on the values and on the good people who have the good values and on the ability of good people to win. So what Rock teaches her is to focus on the positive, to focus on the values themselves and not on evil. He teaches her that evil in the end is impotent that is the good that is powerful, that the good that prevails, that is the good that she should focus on, she should help, she should promote, she should help sustain, and that that is what her life, that's what will give meaning to her life. Right. So... Um, Dominique is a very complicated character. <laughs> very complicated character. Uh, Stefan says, when I first started reading The Founded, I thought that Rand was going to make Dominique the antagonist. I love how that changed. It is brilliant. Yes. I mean, Dominique is so bewildering, but as soon as, as, soon as you see how to walk, fall in love with her, it kind of, it, 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 it's, I mean, it, it's hard for me to go back to when I first read The Founded, so I don't remember what I thought exactly. I was so, Overwhelmed. I remember where I read it, but I don't remember exactly what I what, what I was thinking. But yes, I mean, it's it truly is. I mean, Dominique is one of these colorful, brilliant, interesting, uh, evocative, and co changing characters that Ayn Rand has. Uh, uh, and, and a woman in 1945. Think about think about again independence. Here's a here's a, a Dominique in 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 uh, or Ayn Rand portraying Dominique in 1945. Think of her, how sexually liberated she is. Uh, and uh, think about the way Ayn Rand portrays the whole relationship. And this is 1945. When, you know, movies, movies in Hollywood, if they portrayed a married couple, their bedroom would have two beds in it because God forbid you imagine that a married couple might have sex. So they had to have separate beds. Go back and look at all the movies in the 40s and 50s where married people live in... I mean, so that's just one 
way in which Ayn Rand, but think about the whole novel, think about the construction of that novel, the characters in the novel. There is no other Tuhi in world literature. There is no other Dominique in world literature, and they certainly know how to work in world literature. I mean, you want to think about somebody who is independent, think Ayn Rand, in terms of the, the, the character she, she, she created. I mean, Christian admits a crush on Dominique. Christian's way ahead of me because I Dominique was too bewildering for me. I was young when I read The Fountainhead. Way too bewildering for me to really have a crush on her. I had a crush on Dominique on uh, Dagny, uh, but she was way you know uh, uh, you know way above my pay grade. But uh, but it, not on Dominique because I couldn't understand Dominique. I couldn't get Dominique. It, it was it was certainly certainly first time really really too hard for me. So think about Rock right independence. That's what he is. He lives by his own means, even if that means going to a quarry, not to compromise his values. Not to compromise his values. Because he must live by his own standards, his own values, his own judgment. Independence is related to the fact that you must judge. That judgment is your responsibility, and that's its connection to which virtue is the judging virtue, is the virtue of our judgment. Justice. Justice is all about judging. And you must be an independent judger. <laughs> They're all, again, connected. Right? What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder... Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>